Hello everybody. In this video I will make some demonstration video about one of my cells. Uh, usually I don't put a lot of videos uh, about this battery, but at the moment I cannot make other project because almost all of my materials are on hold, so I need to wait to get these materials uh, that I can make uh, other projects. But in the meantime, I will demonstrate this battery, uh, which is here. So the dimensions of this cell is uh, 6.5 centimeters by 6 centimeters. And the weight of this material, uh, I mean the weight of this battery, is below 30 grams. So this battery, I mean this cell, is really really interesting because this cell have really 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 stable uh, discharge curve. Here I have three cells and yeah I will see what project I will do next. The voltage of these cells is 1.3 volts because I modified these cells uh, to get a really really stable discharge curve uh, and that's why I also sacrificed some of the voltage so uh, the starting voltage and the beginning was about 1.7 volts uh, but like I said I modified this cells to get a really really stable discharge curve uh, and also that's why I sacrificed some of the voltage so right now the cells have 1.3 volts and really really stable discharge curve so here i test one of these cells uh, and you see a really stable really stable discharge curve uh, so this voltage is not correct this is the voltage right now So here is some example uh, what would be the useful uh, capacity of the cell. So for example here I have some activated carbon zinc hybrid capacitor uh, discharge curve uh, and yeah uh, the higher voltage of this zinc hybrid capacitor is 1.8 volts but you can discharge this device to 0.2 volts. So if you discharge this device to 0.2 volts, you get 40 watt hours per kilogram. But if you use this device in some home energy storage, uh, the most of the inverters will not allow you that you can discharge uh, that cells uh, to this limit. Uh, so that's why the lowest limit of discharging the cell is 0.8 volts per cell. But if you can discharge this device from 1.8 volts to 0.8 volts, then this will be the useful capacity. Not the entire section, but only this section. 
So here is also some zinc bromide battery discharge curve uh, and again the higher voltage of zinc bromide battery is 1.8 volts uh, usually is 1.85 volts and also again you can discharge this battery to 0.2 volts if you can discharge this battery to 0.2 volts you get around 50 watt hours per kilogram but again uh, most of the inverters will not allow you that you can discharge to 0.2 watts per cell so the lowest limit will be again 0.8 volts and if you can discharge this battery uh, from 1.8 volts to 0.8 volts is this your usable capacity and this is a discharge curve of my battery so like I said the higher voltage is 1.3 volts because I sacrifice uh, most of the voltage to get a really stable discharge curve and you see in the beginning the voltage drops really really quickly and around 1.10 to 1 volt you get a really flat curve but when you hit uh, 0.8 volts uh, the curve go like so and if I can discharge this battery from 1.3 volts to 0.8 volts I get this usable capacity so you see this is some hybrid uh, capacitor uh, activated carbon zinc uh, hybrid capacitor uh, zinc bromide battery and my battery So when I first made uh, my battery, uh, wa the, was the curve similar like this one? So I get really low of usable uh, capacity. So I need to stabilize uh, the discharge curve to get like so, but I sacrifice the voltage. I will use these three uh, cells uh, to make some phone charger. Uh, here I have some case of old uh, power bank for phones and I will connect these three cells to the circle and, and I will charge my phone. But the problem right now is that uh, I use this phone uh, to record everything. So I need to go home uh, to get another phone which I can charge. So right now I am home and I connect this charger which was here uh, to my batteries and I already tested uh, charge some phone that's why I charge this again uh, so you see three cells and now I will plug in the cable which goes to this phone and I will disconnect the charger oh. it's a little bit hard to charge this
so see right now is charging nice so guys that's it for now and yeah we see us in the next video bye